my rush to Town Hall 10, my little mini, two 10 versus 12 max base two stars. Four packed it against a number one and number three base in the war. Check it out. <laughs> G'day folks, Spackman here. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. Now today, my mini Town Hall 10 four-packed uh, in a recent war, taking on the number one and number three base. Um, and uh, as you can see here um, in this first replay, the king was down and uh, I've got some low-level troops. For example, you know, clone, freeze, uh, baby dragon, haste, etc etc but uh proper planning on the right base can get it done uh, now uh, quickly before we do get into it if you can like the video subscribe turn the notifications on would really appreciate it get i can get more content out and i can uh, grow this channel now uh we'll go through the quick plan for the attack so you can see here um to start off with with all of my attacks, uh, typically they're almost always air-based. But I do have a number of archers and minions to try and snipe as much as I can uh, along the outside. So, for example, at the very top of the... Um, uh, but also, by the way, I had to record these in a rush, so I couldn't quite give them as much detail as I wanted to because maintenance was coming out and um, I just found out, so I had to rush record them. All right, guys. So let's. Um, I'll start off talking about the baby dragon and the loon portion of this in terms of what they're sniping off, because with all of my attacks, I try and snipe as much as I can before I actually um, set the eagle off and go in with the main part of the army. You'll also note with both of these attacks, well, I'm very careful about setting off the eagle artillery, dealing with the enemy queen, dealing with sweepers really if you can avoid it and particularly having to deal with the clan castle or setting the town hall off early, um, unless I'm taking it down then and there. I try and avoid these at all costs because they're an unnecessary difficulty to contend with. So uh, we have um, a number of archer towers, again, as in the last time we had this scattered around the outside. And there's a one, two, three, four, five, six archer towers that I managed to take down in this raid. So we'll go anti-clockwise, starting at the one about 10.30. A simple baby dragon can deal with that, and that then frees up the um, elixir collector next door to it um, to be taken down later on in the raid. You'll notice at about 9 o'clock we have that archer tower there. What I do here is I use one of my haste spells and four loons to run in and take that down, which then allows everything in a nearby area to be susceptible to air and minions to snipe them off. And uh, one of the more um, uh, carefully planned portions of this raid was down here in the cannon at about, what's that, like 8 o'clock. So I drop an arm, a baby dragon, on that cannon, as well as a haste. And I then have three loons dropped immediately. And as soon as that cannon's about to go down, I drop another three loons. So the first three divert to the art tower to its immediate right, and the next three just up ahead um, to the next one over. And again, that then frees up that whole area to be susceptible to air and also some archers, given them the cannons now being taken um, uh, down. We also have the archer tower at about 5.30, a simple baby dragon on that, and the one at about... Oh, what is that, four o'clock, um, a baby dragon followed by two loons um, to help take that um, archer tower down. After that, you'll notice I drop archers and minions sort of around the base as much as possible to snipe off as much as I can here and there. Now, originally when I was going into this raid, I'd planned on, I had no idea where the tornado was going to be, and I'd planned on actually dropping the... Um, uh, uh, a sort of a Lalo type portion. Um, I, I had one hound. The reason I had the hound is because I didn't want to um, have the slammer pick up a huge amount of uh, heat seeking air mines and drop early and due to a tornado spell end up missing the town hall. In the end, I didn't need to worry about that. I basically dropped the hound at about 9 30, uh, 6 30, sorry, where that sort of builder hut is 
down near the bottom, it flies up uh, to sort of three o'clock where that um, air defense is over there. And I drop all the loons behind it. In the end, the loons alone managed to take down everything, including the town hall, which then freed up my slam as we dropped elsewhere in the raid. And I just sort of rage cloned that. And I ended up getting a decent percent on this one. I was really happy about and the queen, I just used it at the very end to pick off whatever I could. Now let's go and see this raid in action. All right, here we go. Now that archer, by the way, that was a very, very key archer. It was so close to setting off the clan castle. I had to place it very carefully and making sure that it would then pass to the right and not to the left. And as you can see here, the baby dragon, two loons down on the right-hand side. On the left, we have the haste and the four loons coming in, taking down that archer tower. And uh, you'll notice this was basically a three-minute raid. So I, I take my time, very careful planning and dropping of every single troop. And this is a very custom army, of course. You can't come into this a Town Hall 10 versus a Town Hall 12 with your generic army. It's just not going to happen, not going to work. And um, going through it here, as you can see here, this I was very proud of. The haste, the baby dragon, the loons, the loons, take all of that down, no problem at all. The baby dragon stays up despite being level two and taking hits from the archer towers for a little bit by itself. And all of a sudden, that's six archer towers taken down, everything on the outside removed, and there's just... Basically, at this point in time, we're just slowly trying to grind away more percent, more percent. And it's, uh, at this point in time, I, I, I knew basically the raid was a slam dunk. Um, as I figured that with the uh, Lalo portion, as well as the slammer, plus the queen, I should be fine to, sorry about that, probably shouldn't do it in the video. Oh, well. 28%, uh, 30%. And um, where were all the Teslas in this one? I think they were all around the town hall, but that didn't end up posing a problem. I also had um, two freezers, as you can see there, of course, as well. So one's always for the town hall. The other one's typically for the Eagle Artillery, but doesn't have to be. Uh, I can't actually recall where I used the second um, freeze in this particular raid. And I also always have the um, a poison spell there as well just in case I accidentally set off some air skellies somewhere early, or I might even accidentally, for whatever reason, send, get the loon. And you can see here, the hound and all the loons following. Oh, there was a tornado spell there, but I thought I'd see how things were going. I do freeze the eagle, eagle here, I now remember, and I freeze the main town hall. And because um, they managed to survive there, uh, yes, the town hall goes down. I didn't need to worry about the slammer, which I could have dropped afterwards. So I'm at 48%. I dropped that elsewhere. I dropped the queen elsewhere. 48%. I've got the slammer. I've got two baby dragons. I've got the queen in play. I've got a rage and a clone. I've got so much to play with at this point in time. Uh, oh, I should have used the um, uh, poison on the queen, but in the end, the, the loons took that down on their own. And so... Perhaps I could have gotten a tiny bit more, but in the end, 58% against the top base there. And as you can see, maintenance was coming in, so I tried to rush through it. All right, this is the second attack here. Now this one, this was a tricky one. By where the clan castle was, and with the amount I could snipe on the outside, I was in a lot of trouble. So um, I'll pause it there. You can sort of see me um, clicking on the various structures, the town hall, the archer towers and wizard towers on the far left, and the uh, air defense and section on the right over there. I figured that once I had taken down everything I wanted to take down, I was still going to be 40 45%. And I knew then that I would have to, um, uh, no matter what I was going to do, with my slammer portion and my lalo portion, I was going to end up losing the clan castle. So what I tried to do is very carefully do it at the same time, not deal with the clan castle, but just have it allured away from whatever I was doing at that particular point in time. So I ended up opting to drop the slammer section first, then the um, lalo portion, as well as some trips afterwards. 
and you notice this is a three minute raid again and I it was so close I only just managed to get the two star here and I was pretty happy and uh, again no king I managed to get the town hall taken down there as well which was pretty clutch and a pretty difficult town hall to take down because there turned out to be a number of Teslas in the area, which I thought there might be. Um, and I ended up using a Rage in that section there, which I thought I might be able to avoid using. And I could have left it for the um, Lalo on the right-hand side. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get into this here. And uh, you can sort of see how it all plays out. And uh, again... Um, I didn't realize there'd be Teslas up top there, so I was hoping to take out all three top Archer Towers. And in the end, because of the tornado spell and the Teslas there, I only managed to get one down. So that also hurt me a bit in getting the percentage up. But I still managed to get uh, four structures down in that particular section. And there was a wealth of uh, uh, minion targets at the bottom here. But I left the um, Builder Hut and the Cannon about 4.30 for the very end of the raid. Reason being, you can see the clan castle boundary there. They would have ended up luring the clan castle once they took down the various things in the area. So I had to save those for the very end of the raid. And that was actually the 50% I ended up getting right at the very end. And boy, am I glad I held on to that. Had I lured the clan castle early, would have been game over. So I dropped two loons there on that Tesla to try and take that down. And I also drop an early archer next to the clan castle just to sort of see what was there, if there was any skellies and whatnot I might need to um, use a poison spell on. There wasn't. And this is a very clutch town hall takedown. Again, really happy with how it went down. So rage, queen, ability, couple loons. Just managed to get it down. It was perfect. Any less troops and it wouldn't have happened and I would have had to then waste more to get the job done. So that was... Uh, really clutch and again that's a bit of practice makes perfect you know i sort of I, I knew what i needed there for that so uh for those who are watching this and you know you're not used to the 10 versus 12 attacks it's all about practicing them and getting used to them and at this point in time we're at 18 percent and i need to start luring the, i end up starting to lure the um uh, clan castle in just a second here once i drop the rage and the clone the loons end up going on to the um the expo just to the right there and that's when they lure the um clan castle and i figured they would and uh so it ends up just being a dragon but a dragon nonetheless is strong enough it's a max dragon and at this point in time because the dragon's going to the far left that's when i drop my uh lalo portion i only have one freeze here so i use that on the um uh local uh, inferno tower two freezes sorry I use that on that to try and get rid of as much as I can in this particular area. And uh, managed to get all that down. And now you can see I'm dropping those minions I was telling you about there at the bottom. And this dragon's coming over. And uh, that baby dragon gets down two structures and distracts the dragon long enough for these last two minions to take down these two little structures. So this countdown here. Add one second, and that's how much time was left on the clock. It was so close. They take it down. One second left, right over. Oh, very happy with that. 10 versus 12, basically max bases. The right strategy on the right base can get it done. There are many other options as well, ground-based attacks, um, uh, queen walks, etc. But that's my go-to. Number one and number two, town or 10, weak attacks. Wasn't Didn't have a queen but no biggie. Um, try it for yourself. Um, love to hear or even see some replays from others if you might have them. We'll see you next time.